Hello friends, I am Sudhir Singhal and I am back with the second part of the video tutorial on modeling a 3D model of football in crew elements. And this is where we left in the previous part. So basically we have created the alignment of the hexagon and pentagonal part. Now uh, I will create a sketch on the pentagon space and sketch. Now when it asks for references, I will select this point, this edge, ok. Now I will create a line between them, that's it. Now I will select the datum tool and these two references. So basically we will create a normal plane to the pentagon passing through this line. Okay. Now maybe I should display there are two any select a data sketch. Now this is the sequence sketch. There is one thing we should do. Uh, we do not need this part, so maybe we should delete it. Um, again, I will create a datum on this assembly date. Create a sketch on this assembly datum. Now it is asking for references. We will select this vertices, this vertices, and this one. Uh, reference and this coordinate system also. Now normal to the sketch create a line between this point and passing through this. So normal. Now we, create, we are creating a line passing through the midpoint of this line and normal Trim down these parts. We will not need these to trim down these. That is the sketch. So, add these two. Right click on the pentagon and click, click activate. Now select curve. Four points done. Select this vertices and this point. Click done, okay. okay. Now right click on hexagon and activate. Again, cut to done between this vertices and this point. Or done, okay. Uh, let's activate assembly and open the pentagon part first. Uh, select this curve. Click pattern, then about axis, y axis, two times at 72 degree. Now select boundary blend tool and create a surface between do these two curves. Select this curve, again pattern, about axis, same y axis, but this time we will create 5 pat times pattern and a total span of 360 degree. Now select all of these surfaces and click click merge tool. Now by selecting merge, click on edit and then solidify. Now let's hide these curves. Or maybe we should display edges. As you can see, there are white edges, which means we basically have a solid layer. Now, let's create a sketch on front plane. We select the the reference here. Let me reference In this for this is. Let's make it normal to the plane. Create a sketch larger than this and. Another one. 
now change this value to the diameter of football you want basically uh, it is a standard size but we will assume it 200 ml make a line passing through here Bring down the quantities. Object sketch. Revolve about this line. Remove material. Done. So you can see we have created the pentagon face for it for the football. Now we have to change the color because pentagon faces are black and hexagon faces are white. And it also help us not to get confused. Yes, now select all faces while holding down control key. Okay, so we have created the pentagon part here. Let's save it. Now switch to four. Let's open the hexagon part. And we will repeat the same procedure here. Let's select this curve, create a pattern about axis. In y axis, this time we will create 2 about 60 degrees. We will create a boundary blend again for these two curves. Select this side, these curves, select this surface, create a pattern again about axis, y axis. This time we will create 6 time pattern and a total span of 60 degrees. Select all these surfaces, merge it. Now, while selecting the merge feature in feature tree, let's click edit and then solidify. Okay. As you can see, there are white edges, which means we have a solid body here. Let's repeat same procedure select the front plane, click sketch, sketch, right click. Defenses, select this one. This is select circle tool, create a larger circle, create a smaller circle, and the diameter of smaller circle 200 mm. Let's make a line and trim down these entities. So we will buff this line, remove material. Okay, so as you can see, we have created the hexagonal part also. Let's change the color of it to white. Oh, it doesn't look white, but it will solve our purpose. Let's switch to it and let's save it first. Let's switch to assembly. Let's hide this sketch. Okay, now all we have to do is create patterns. Select this component, click pattern, about axis, select this axis five times. Now insert. Okay. Pentagon part here. Here it is. You can drag it to, or you can move it by holding Ctrl Alt key and left mouse button. Now for defenses, let's select these faces. Uh, let's move it. Select this face and this one. Two percent. Select this face and this one. And now for third mate, select this face and this face. Okay. This 
second let's just do them by one with this let's do assembly file okay select this pentagon part again pattern both axes same y axis all times and we will repeat the same process we have done as far. This time we will insert hexagon part. This was this was this was then with this component click pattern again axis y axis five components level so now again we will insert a hexagon part there will be total 32 parts here it's time consuming but this method ensures zero error and also gives you an assembly this space Okay, I hate to do this and to okay. now third mate will be done. Go to center plate to okay, select this component pattern out axis. Again, assembly by axis by components. Full screen. Now, this, as you can notice, uh, around a pentagon there are six, five hexagons. So basically, one black part and five white parts. This time we insert a pentagon. Uh, create that Assembly by five times in angle. Now insert a hexagon. Okay, we have inserted another hexagon. Let's create a pattern of it. Now, okay. where is assembly axis? Y. Five times in angle. Okay, now insert a last pentagon part. So basically, we started with a pentagon and we will end up with a pentagon also. Okay, maybe there are some different constraints. This case, this maybe I still need these notes. This 
Okay, this last part is troubling us. Any longer. Okay, maybe I should just insert it again. Let's the key parts. Wait. So, we can create a split between these points. Like hate this Okay. Let's so basically we have full geometry now. Let's go to hexagon. Select round to round. Select. Uh, let's keep a radius of 5 mm. Maybe we should add these edges to like the name. Let's switch to Pentagon again, round two. So let's select all of this. So, here is our 3D model. Uh, there is one more thing I would like to do. 
ethnic view visibility and sales status so basically whatever we have hidden feature here remains hidden next time we open a sample so thank you for watching my video tutorial and have a nice day